good morning. Well, plans have changed slightly. So um, I was going to go with some friends to Panama and their plans changed and I didn't want to go by myself. So I canceled that trip or postponed it. And I decided I would come out here on the Washita Trail in Arkansas and hike it. I drove to Story, Arkansas last night and spent the night there near the Bluebell Cafe. And Lori, an awesome shuttle driver that owns a Bluebell Cafe, brought me here to Talamina Park in Oklahoma to start this hike. Super excited about it. One thing that will be different on the Appalachian Trail, I always followed white blazes and blue blazes were for side trails to shelter and water and such. And, and same on the Ozark Highlands, it was white blazes. But on this trail, the trail is blazed with blue. So I gotta rewire my brain into thinking blue is not a side trail, it is the trail. Here we go. Once I got my pack all filled and ready to go, it's got three days worth of food and water for today. And it came in just under 20 pounds. So super excited about that, nice low weight. I always have one more thing. So one more thing, I got a new pack and I'm super excited about it. The pack that I used for the AT, when I left for the AT, I actually thought it wasn't gonna make it the whole trip because it was pretty well worn, but it did. And I was able to get a new one thanks to some cash of Christmas gifts at Christmas time and found this one on Z-Pack for sale. It's like my old one, except my old one, it's the same design, but my old one was made out of grid stop material, and this is made out of a different material. We'll see how it does, see how it carries. Gap, and I read a sign that said, because I went to a little overlook off trail to check things out, and the sign said Dead Man's Gap was named because supposedly a horse, some horse thieves were caught here in, in the early 1900s and they died here. And so it's called Dead Man's Gap, and I think it's funny that just 12 miles down is Horse Thief Spring. And I think I see some water, yippee. So the sign that I saw at that little side trail that I went to to go look at the overlook also talked about, of course, we know these mountains run east and west, but it talked about the different um, ecosystems on, on each side. So the south facing will have all pine trees and the north facing have oaks. So that was interesting. A little bit of trivia. Also, there's supposed to be a red salamander that lives on the north side. So I'll be looking for those. Maybe I'll see one, who knows? I was thinking about that salamander, being able to see it, because it's been cold. I am currently in a short sleeve shirt and shorts, because I think the high today is like 60. It feels wonderful. But the high tomorrow is supposed to be 70, the warmest day. So maybe tomorrow will be my best chance to see one. I'm going to keep my eyes open for them. When I 
originally mapped out this trip, I um, was going to go 14 miles today. And I got to thinking last night as I was looking at it, oh, maybe I can go all the way to Holson Shelter. Was it 16.8? So I thought, well, I kind of did the math and the mileage and thought, well, by one o'clock, I can make it at least half halfway to Holson. Then I should be fine to make it there the rest and uh, the second half of the day. So I made it to Rock Garden Shelter. That's where I am now. And it um, is at 9.3. So I think I'm going to push on all the way to Holston. I don't know. We'll see what the terrain is like. I've heard it gets really rocky from here. I don't know how much that'll slow me down. But I'm feeling pretty good. My quads are kind of not happy with me because they haven't been exercising like they used to. But um, I'm sure they'll get stronger each day. So I'm going to give it a whirl and see if I can make it there. If not, I can always stop at mile 14 and throw up my tent. So... As you can see, it's a beautiful day out there. Loving today's weather. Holson Shelter at 16.8 miles, and I'm going to tell you what, that seven and a half miles was brutal. I didn't even get here. I left there like at 1.30, and it, I didn't get to the shelter till 6.15. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was going to make it. It was just, well, I knew I was going to make it, but my legs are killing me. The rocks were just insane. If they don't call this Rocklahoma, they should. It uh, rivals uh, Pennsylvania on the AT. It was brutal, but I made it, and I'm going to get a good night's rest right here in the shelter. It's supposed to rain in the morning, and that was one of the things that kept me going today um, because I kept telling myself every rock that I make it through today is one less I have to go over tomorrow when it's wet. So hopefully it'll stop raining by noon like the forecast said and then the high tomorrow is supposed to be 70 so that's insane see how it goes i'm gonna sleep in the shelter and really enjoy it good night good morning i'm getting ready to head out for the day it's like after 7 30 and i it's still raining but um i expected that so i probably won't take too many pictures or video till this rain lets up. I'm just going to try to keep walking and get as many miles in as I can while it's raining. Here we go. I made it to Winding Stair Shelter, which is like 8.4 miles from the last shelter I was at. And it has just rained the whole entire time. And I was kind of wet and miserable, so I stopped here. I got here about 10.30, and a little after 10.30, and um, hung up all my stuff, got into some drier clothes, and I think I may just wait here until the rain stops because I would rather night hike than hike in this rain anymore and i have a, just under nine miles to the next shelter that's where i wanted to get to today and um so just gonna wait out the rain it's cold Brr. what happened to 70. well things have cleared up I'm so happy about that it's been two hours at the shelter and the rain is gone 
I went a little further downstream to cross. So I crossed here and it was crutch deep and really fast right there in the middle. That was Big Cedar Creek, which isn't even a waypoint on the far out app. And it was, I think, moving really fast today because of all the rain this morning. And normally that would have been fine for me, but my legs are just really uh, kind of tired and not as strong as they normally are after yesterday so I know what my limitations are now so if I come across something again for the end of the day that's that fast and deep I will stop there and camp and call it and wait for the call it for the day and wait for the water level to go down in the morning safety first Today turned out to be a good day. Even with that two hour break, I was able to get in 17.3 miles and there were a couple other river crossings, uh, but one I could just rock hop across and the other one I went up about 100 yards upstream and was able to rock hop across, but I got kind of stuck in a briar patch. So I gave you a picture there of my scraped up leg, but no worse for the wear. And I'm gonna try to make it into Queen Wilhelmina tomorrow, which is another over 17 miles, 17 something. And we'll see how it goes. And I hope the rivers recede a lot tonight because there's like a whole bunch of river crossings tomorrow. And it's hard to tell how big those rivers are. A lot of, some of them look like tributaries and others, I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out. And I'm here at the Pashubi shelter. Good night.